Hello everybody, welcome, welcome back to the channel. This is Clemon and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. Apologies, I've been traveling a lot, so I have not been able to make videos. Also, I got really sick, as you can hear from my voice. So I thought, why not make a new video and like kick off the month of August. And today I want to talk about AI security. Now, whether you're interested in AI security or not, there is no secret that it is the future of cyber security. And I've talked about this many, many times, and I keep repeating it on like autopilot. To anybody who asks me about how to future-proof their tech career, I always tell them to look at uh, like AI security. And as you can see here, the companies that are involved, the, the industries that are involved, it's growing at a massive, massive rate. So you really cannot go wrong with AI security. And But unfortunately, a lot of times when people come to me, they have a common mistake. They think that in order to learn AI security, you need to be super technical. Uh, you need to have like a PhD in data science to learn AI security. And that's wrong because the field is big enough to accommodate people from both technical and non-technical backgrounds. You don't need to buy like a massively expensive course. And there are some many, many amazing resources available. And that's what I wanted to talk about. Like what are some of the best resources that I have seen on the internet, which you can use to start learning AI security today. So uh, these, these are my favorite resources, which I could keep coming back to whenever I want to refresh my concepts about AI security and, you know, just want to uh, get an understanding about it. So please do, before we move ahead, guys, please do like and subscribe to this channel and share this video. That will really help the channel to grow. Thank you. And yeah, so let, let's talk about the resources for learning AI security. And in case you're not aware, I've written multiple books on AI security. I've published multiple courses also. So I do know a little bit about AI security. So it's not as if I'm a complete noob to this topic. And so let's start with number one. So the first one is the NIST AI Risk Management Framework. And there's a reason I started with the NIST AI Risk Management Framework. Uh, NIST is pretty much like the NIST cybersecurity framework, they, which they released many, many years ago. It's become an industry benchmark, you know. Companies across the globe, they use it to assess their security posture against best practices. If you're working in cybersecurity, you will have used NIST, the checklist, and to assess your posture, right? And now the NIST AI risk management framework, that's going to do the same thing for AI. And the best thing about it is it's completely like uh, it, it's tech agnostic. So you do not need to know a specific technology to get an understanding of it. If you're from a non-technical background, you can get started with this. And the reason this frameworks are so well trusted within the industry is because they go through a lot of validation from like industry experts across the globe and they get trusted very, very well. So definitely this is an excellent starting point. Whether you are technical or non-technical, it gives you a very comprehensive approach to managing risk through key components like, such as governance, measuring, managing, mapping AI risk. And more and more companies are going to be adopting this framework as AI adoption as it becomes more and more popular, this framework is going to become more and more popular across the globe. And if you, the only problem is NIST can be sometimes a little bit boring. Okay, without any doubt, a lot of people I've recommended to, they say it's so boring to read. So if you have that, there is an excellent, uh, there is a companion piece, like which they provide, which is called the NIST AI Risk Management Playbook, RMF Playbook which is like an interactive companion piece to the framework. And you can use it, you can filter, you can look at specific examples, specific documentation. It is much more streamlined and engaging. Like if you, as you can see an example here, it's like you can specific, choose a specific type. Uh, what are the AI stakeholders? What are the topics? And it's much more engaging. So you can actually, you don't have to take in the whole framework in one go. You can use the playbook. I'm going to put for all the resources I'm mentioning, guys, I'm going to, Put the links in the comment section okay so the first one i recommend is the nist ai risk management framework the second one is the aws gen ai security matrix now you might call me a bit biased because i work in aws as a security consultant but honestly if you're interested in generative ai security then the aws gen ai security scoping matrix it's one of the best resources around uh, it's completely free and it goes into a lot of detail about how to like uh, understand Gen AI, what are the different scopes at work, and how to do governance, legal, risk management, security controls, resilience, right? As you can see here, it looks at the different types of scopes that are there. It's like a three-part series, and it gives you the different ways of assessing Gen AI risk and how they can change depending on the model that you choose. And these concepts are so good, you can apply them to any provider. It's not just applicable to AWS. So definitely, I would highly, highly recommend it for people 
who are who want to deep dive into generative AI risks. Okay, the third one is the OWASP top 10 for large language models. Now the OS top 10, if you've been in cloud, like uh, in cybersecurity, it's an in, it's an industry benchmark, right? For web application security. It has been used by millions and millions of companies across the globe by, for decades. Honestly, I can't believe how long it's been since the OS top 10 came out for web applications. So it was no surprise when they released the new top 10. And this time they are focusing on large language model applications, chat applications like chat GPT, right? And so basically what is it? it? It's to help developers and designers, architects understand the different types of bits that are there in large language models like chat GPT, right? It goes into detail about what are the most critical vulnerabilities. It shows like the impacts, right? And it shows like these are the ones like prompt injection, insecure output handling, denial of service, like plugin, over-reliance, model theft. It's pretty cool and it goes into a lot of details. It shows you real world examples of the issues that are there, right? And in addition to that, one good thing is they've also, it com comes with a great companion piece, which is the LLM security and governance checklist. So if you are a CISO and you have like security leadership responsibilities, this is a great document to help you understand how to create an AI security program, how to implement oversight over the different types of risks that are there and how to mitigate them. So if you have leadership responsibilities for cyber security within your company and you're unsure about AI security, this is an excellent, excellent document. Okay, now number four, it is a MITRE Atlas framework. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But so the previous frameworks I've highlighted, they're great, but they can be too high level, right? And if you're someone who likes to deep dive into technical uh, technicalities of AI attacks, this is where Atlas comes in. So if you're a hacker, and you want to know the different types of attacks that are there, how they happen, how like a person compromises it, how to actually compromise an AI application, right? You want some sort of a guidance on this. This is where Atlas is absolutely awesome. It is like a completely free knowledge base of the different types of attacks that are happen throughout. So it starts from the left to the right. You can see what are the different types of attacks which are happening, uh, how they happen, how the attacker does it, and it follows the Mitra framework and it shows basically like uh, what do you call all the all, all the steps which happen when the attacks happen the tactics and the techniques and it you can click on it like if you take one like the prompt injection and you click on it it will show you actually how it happens what are the techniques especially if you're interested in the field like ai penetration testing definitely i cannot recommend the meter uh, the atlas matrix more and one good thing is their website also has a great basic framework on ai security and you, it's, you might want to review this before you deep dive into the Atlas security matrix. It basically tells you about what is AI security, what are the key things which are present, and how you can start learning them. So that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, I'm not well, so I don't, I don't want to do a long video. <laughs> but these were some of the free resources you can use. I'll put all the links in the comments, which you can take a look at. But like I said, AI security is the career of the future. It's very, very important you start getting a hold of it now. And you don't need to buy expensive courses. You can start with the resources I've shown here. I hope you found this useful. Please do like and subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.